It's been a while since I added something Fendi to my collection. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you two new luxury pieces that I am adding to this collection back here. I'm really excited about both of them. I feel like they are stunning and very, very different from anything that I have. I've got one handbag and one pair of shoes. These might possibly be the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. They are so pretty and they're gonna fit in perfectly. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I do a lot of luxury and fashion videos here, so make sure to hit that notification button as well as subscribe to my channel so you can join the YouTube family. But let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you. Hit you up. Before we dive into the pair of shoes, I did want to ask one favor. I had a few of you make comments a few videos back in regards to my audio. So can you let me know if the audio in this video is okay? If that was you that commented, let me know. And if you just have any feedback in general about the audio, let me know down in the comments. I would very much appreciate it. I believe that the issue has been resolved, so we should be good to go. But let me know in the comments either way. Let's go ahead and dive into the shoes. These are a new brand for me. I have wanted to add something from this brand to my shoe collection ever since I was introduced to the brand probably about two years ago. It's maybe two years, year and a half. I'm not really sure exactly when. It's a fairly new brand to me. I don't know how long they've been around, but I have only known about them for the last year or two. They have a very distinctive look. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about whenever I share this pair of shoes. This is the brand called Amina Muwadi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And let me see if it has any information on the box about where, they're probably on the shoes. Let's go ahead and just dive in to the shoes. It's gonna be a typical luxury. You're gonna get a really nice box. You've actually got the magnetic here. You get, of course, you're gonna get a little satin case and then beautiful M.A. like tissue. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out of the box to share with you before, just so you can get the full view. Okay, I'm not sure if you're ready for these. They are so beautiful, I'm kind of obsessed. So if you are at all familiar with this brand, you know that this is their signature heel. Their heels have this kind of flare out detail which I will admit has kind of taken me a little while to get used to. I have loved the detail of the front of their shoes, but this heel, I was not 100% sure how I felt about it. I obviously have decided to get over that. So they also do a lot of clear heels as well. That's another kind of signature look for them. They have a lot of the clear with the black detail or black heels. I decided to go with this nude kind of opaque heel. You can still kind of see through it. Do you see my fingers, but it's not completely clear because I noticed that a lot of closed toe clear shoes, they get kind of foggy and I don't like the way that looks. So I decided to go with this nude color and I just think it is so beautiful. The detail of that bow, they also do a lot of embellishments. They have kind of the signature look with when it comes to the embellishments. This is a little bit different for them because it's a bow and not like the emblem, I guess you could say, but I just thought this was such a beautiful, beautiful shoe with the nude, with the bow, and then even the nude heel with the flare out. I just feel like it looks so unique and different. I ended up going true to size in these. So these are a 36 and a half and they do say made in Italy. So it is an Italian brand. The quality is really nice as well. I'm really impressed when I'm looking at it. You've got this, a lot of times luxury shoes like designer shoes don't have this extra detail right here. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to give like a little bit of a close up. It's almost like they changed the texture of this center here. It feels kind of silicone-y. So it's a lot of times with luxury shoes, they're very, very slick. They're very hard to get a grip. So like, especially with Louboutins, they scuff really easily because it's that really smooth leather. Whereas on this one, you can see that the this part is leather and then the outside is leather, but it looks like they changed the inside right here so that it gave you a little bit of grip. So I actually think the quality of these shoes are really, really beautiful. Even just looking at the detail here in the heels, I'll try to give you some, some close-ups. And then of course, the stitching right here and the insole as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful shoe. I'm really, really impressed. Let's hope they're comfortable. 
Now keep in mind, when I say comfortable, I mean comfortable for a heel. Like I don't expect them to be comfortable for a sneaker. I feel like sometimes people have unrealistic expectation when it comes to heels. When I say comfort, when I'm referring to heel, I always mean comfort for a heel. You're not gonna be able to run in them. You're not gonna be able to walk in them all day. And I am very aware of that. So just keep that in mind, but I will definitely keep you posted if they are comfortable or not. Next up is my Fendi item. I cannot wait to wear this bag. I feel like it is such the perfect summer bag. It's on the mini side, which I love. You can wear a crossbody, which I love. The color is perfection, which I love. And you can see it is on the smaller side. I haven't seen, I'm trying to think if I've even really seen anybody wearing this bag. I don't believe I am aware of anybody owning this bag. It is the Fendi mini like bucket, I guess you could say. It is so cute. You've got this like thicker, chunkier like uh, handle here so you can carry it handheld. And then you've got the thin longer handle to wear it crossbody if you'd like. And then of course the thicker just kind of lays. I love a good bucket bag. I don't own a lot. I think I have maybe one or two bucket bags. I know I have the Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. I like that bag as well, but I think that the bucket bag is a very classic silhouette. This one is obviously the mini. Let's see if the, it's the mini Mons Tresor bag in the almonds color. This is kind of like that nudie with the slight undertone of peachy pink. Let me show you what it looks like if I kind of close it up. I think it's so cute. I probably won't actually ever close it up, but it is really cute. I love it. This is definitely gonna carry into the fall and winter season because this is like a velvet kind of material, which I do think is a heavier fabric, perfect for the fall and winter season. So this is a really, really beautiful year round bag. I think the color is perfect for spring and summer, but the texture is really, really beautiful for fall and winter. So it's gonna be a great year round bag. And the hardware is so pretty. I'll try to give you some close-ups of this hardware. It is so, so beautiful. I'm really, really impressed with this. And I love the fact that this strap is thinner. I definitely, definitely will change out the strap every once in a while because I do have a Fendi chain strap, which let me grab that. So I bought this Fendi chain strap to go with my Fendi first. You can see it has the Fendi detail here. It also has Fendi details every like what fourth or so link. It's a really, really beautiful bag. I could see removing the longer strap even, well, you could probably leave the chunkier one and using this with the bag as well. I think that would be super cute too, right? The golds match perfectly. So this is my first time seeing these two pieces together and I actually think that I could totally wear these together. I feel like this, of course, being a nude shoe can go with absolutely everything. And this is a really good lighter neutral as well. These look really beautiful and fresh together. They are so cute. I cannot wait to style them. So there you have it, two new pieces that I will be adding to this wall behind me. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is Amanda. I would love for you to join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.